What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. JRC54's Auto Shop Life. Well today we're in the home garage um, doing a few projects. You guys know uh, company sent me a product. Had a, uh, had a great company reach out to me, send me their product for testing. Um, I've had it for a few weeks called Shine Armor, but uh, I want to talk about some of the benefits of you know, protecting your paint, ceramic coating, things like that. Um, I reached out to the company, asked them a few questions on it, to kind of share that information with you guys. You guys know a couple weeks ago, put the Mustang up for the winter. Um, winters get pretty brutal around here, but put that up for the winter. Before I did, it hit it with ceramic coating. I mean, it's 20 year old paint and definitely looks pretty good, but you guys know we got the Beamer. Don't want to do traditional, you know, maybe tape down the hood. I want to compare it to a snap on ceramic coating I've been using for a couple years now. Um, show you guys a part number in comparison in the background there. But uh, let's get right on to it. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. We got the Beamer here, um, still wor working on it. Still got a few more things on there. I wanna get a final reveal video out there real soon, but got a few other things I wanna do to it. Um, actually gotta go back to the paint shop, You know, get the clear coat cut a little bit. Wanna get this thing buffed. So before I do, I figure we could use the hood as a guinea pig to test these products. Now, I don't wanna do you know, a traditional tape line, line down this you know, middle of the hood, like couple other guys done with testing product and things like that. I want to do two tape lines. I want to do a shine armor. Um, seems like great stuff. Definitely got a great smell. We'll dive down and get you guys on a tripod and uh, show you guys the bottle and packing it comes in. We'll compare it to the snap-on one I've been using for years and then down the middle of the hood we won't treat it at all. Maybe we'll do a water test or a slide test just to kind of see you know what ceramic coating is all about. This stuff is a, uh, a waterless Wax shine and protect spray, same as the snap-on stuff. So arms getting tired. Teach you guys on the tripod. Get this tape down on the hood and uh, get right onto it. All right, guys. So got the shine armor here. Um, here's the bottle that comes in. It's uh, kind of reminds me of the box cleaner bottle. Kind of the same color, the toolbox cleaner. Um, this stuff's got a pretty decent smell to it. They did send me some microfiber towels with it, but this is pretty much. They're uh, fortifying quick coat, shine armor. It's a waterless wax, shine and protectant. This does have ceramic properties in it. I did ask the company, you know, uh, you know how much ceramic they actually put in there. Is, if it, is it actual ceramic and all that stuff? You know, they didn't really share the formula for me. I, I, I understand that, but you know, from what I've been using on it, it definitely has ceramic protecting properties of what I know. Um, you know, like the snap-on one. I know there's actual ceramic in this spray, but you know, that stuff's, you know, kind of dangerous on the skin. They gotta be careful of how much ceramic they actually put in this spray-on stuff. It's not an actual ceramic coating, like, uh, you know, t actually taking it and get your car ceramic detailed and all that stuff. It's a different process than just spraying it on and wiping it off. But uh, definitely a decent, decent smell. They call it the ultimate ceramic coating formula. Um, you got the directions on the back. You guys can see, hope the lighting in here is not bad, but you know, basically they want you to spray into a clean, damp microfiber cloth and into the surface you're cleaning approximately three by three inches. So they want you to work in sections, kind of like you know, polishing a car or hand buffing a car, things like that. Uh, step two, gently wipe the surface with the first <coughs> pre-wetted folded microfiber cloth. And then they say quickly switch to the clean folded dry microfiber cloth and buff till hazing disappears. Um, and you want to do that before it dries. And then it says uh, repeat process until entire vehicle is clean, streak free, and also glass safe to use on glass, paint, metal, and plastic. So basically, they're saying you could use this on everything on the windshield, um, you know, any kind of plastic molding, any kind of rubber molding around the windows. You know, it's, it's good, in, you know, it's good for everything. It's not going to harm, you know, plastic or anything like that. It's pretty much uh, one spray for the entire vehicle. Um, we're going to just do the hood. Like I said, I uh, got enough here that we could kind of do the hood, test it for you guys out there. And then, uh, you know, after I get this thing finished up, do the final reveal, you know, maybe I'll use this bottle on the whole car. But uh, definitely cool. I mean, it's packaged. I like the packing. I like the things it came with. 
Um, definitely seems like a pretty cool company. They got a pretty solid Instagram. You guys uh, check them out. I'll leave the link to their Instagram down in the description. They have a lot more product lineup, you know, for interior, tire shine. Um, they got a nano, you know, glass cleaner. They got the polished stuff, scratch, you know, scratch repair stuff. You guys check out their website. A lot of cool stuff, but this is their flagship product and the one we're going to be testing today. One test we're going to be doing on it is obviously the slide test. This washed probably three, four days ago, and uh, you know, it's definitely got some dust on it, but you guys see I can set the bottle there. It doesn't slide down. Same with the snap-on stuff. Um, that's kind of the thing we're going to be testing it on. Maybe do a water test on it and see how the water beads up, you know, because that's where your ceramic properties come from. You know, it's kind of like an armor all. You know, the water doesn't uh, necessarily stick to the paint. It kind of just rolls right off. Um, and that's kind of where you get the ceramic coating protecting from. Um, but we're going to be comparing it to the, uh, this is probably my second or third bottle I've had, this uh, ceramic coating I get from Snap-on. I don't know if Snap-on actually makes this stuff. They probably, uh, you know, it's probably licensed through someone else. But the uh, part number on this one, P-A-C-K-S-E-A-L-A-N-T-6. So pack sealant 6. There's a part number of this stuff. I actually, this one I actually got in a uh, detail pack. I think last spring or something like that, but this stuff definitely works well. It's got, uh, it doesn't smell as good as the uh, the Shine Armor. I mean, this stuff definitely, it's got a, uh, it's got a weird smell to it, a rough smell to it. Um, but you know, I'm not using it to, uh, not using it to spruce up the car to make it smell nice. I'm using it to make it look nice. So I don't mind the smell, but uh, let's get these tape uh, lines down and get set up and get to work. Get this thing taped up. We're going to divide it in threes here. This uh, left side, I guess your guys' left side, the left side of the car, we're going to do with the shine armor. The middle section, we're going to do untreated. And then the right side here, we're going to do with the snap on ceramic coating that I've used. Um, Kind of a bigger area, untested, but get right onto it. So they basically just want you to spray a three by three area, um, spray the rag first, spray the three by three area, wipe it in. This one's going to be covered in the ceramic, and then after you're done, take one, you know, a clean rag and then wipe it off. So we'll spray some on the rag here, get some on the car, and just wipe it in. You can kind of see it haze, and I could definitely feel. I could definitely feel when I use this one. It was a lot easier to wipe, less drag. You could feel less drag on it already, and you could repeat as necessary. But finish up this section. Sprays a nice fine mist. Kind of evenly disperses the spray of the product on the vehicle. Shut up and sit down. Alright. I got this next side. You guys get ready to see the shine difference. So we'll grab the snap on stuff. And pretty much this one is uh this one's spray, do not let dry. Step two, polish with a dry cloth. Uh, second coat best after 48 hours. So they say if you're gonna recoat it, you know, wait uh, wait 48 hours before you do because you can't apply coats on top. Like I said, um, this has probably more ceramic properties in it than 
the you know waterless wash and wax by shine armor but we'll just kind of show you the the difference kind of going to do the same thing here do this in three sections close all right guys here's the shine armor side this is one coat with shine armor I still got to get this thing buffed that's why we're kind of testing it beforehand you can see the shine you see me the light definitely feels uh, nice and smooth this side, you know, the untreated, it's got a little bit of a drag. The snap-on side, pretty smooth. Um, can't really tell the difference between the left and the right side. I don't know if you guys are seeing any different on the camera there. But one quick test I want to do with the shine armor is the slide test. And look at that. Slides right off. You guys can see set that bottle on there doesn't slide on the untreated it slides right off on this side and that's pretty much your ceramic properties you know it puts a protective layer on the paint where nothing sticks to it kind of see how far down I could get so it doesn't slide untreated that's actually a little bit faster it seemed like Slides right off, kind of do the same area here, not slide on the untreated, treated side slides right off. So that's one test, um, I mean I, if you guys could feel this you could definitely tell there's a difference, you know I feel like kind of grime and grit in the untreated side, this side's nice and smooth, and then of course this side, I'd have to say visually you know, from my angle, you know, the snap-on stuff got probably a better shine to it. This one, you could see even the light is probably a little hazed. And then the shine armor definitely did a good job. And it smells great. But I'll throw some water on the hood, see how it beads off of there. All right, we'll do this quick water test. See how this uh, water acts. Um, do probably half of this side and it's towards the front there where it's untreated. There's the shine armor and the untreated side or the whole cup there. See how the difference is there. See how it beads off of there. Less area where it sticks, kind of runs right off. And then do the snap on side on this side. The difference. Try to pour a little slower here. I can't really, um, well, definitely you can see the snap on side, maybe there's less water in this area. Same with over there, probably more sticks. You know, if we gathered up the water, you'd see 
but I guess it all depends on the angle of the hood too. But uh, quick water test for you guys that would like to know. All right, guys, get this one wrapped up. Um, I mean, you saw it. You saw it here first. You know, obviously, as far as the water test, I'm not really seeing a difference. You know, maybe in the rain, when rain's hitting it, depending on how the wind's hitting the car, more will blow off on a, you know, a ceramic coated treated as opposed to not being treated at all. But, you know, treating your car with anything is better than nothing. You know, obviously, especially living here in the Rust Belt, you know, any kind of extra protection I can get on my vehicles, I like to use them. I do use them. You know, I'd like to use them more often than I do, but you guys want to check out Shine Armor, I'll have all the links down in the description where you can check them out. Like I said, they got a whole product lineup. I'd like to get my hands on, test it all out. But this stuff, for the most part, what it costs, how easy it is to apply, you know, as long as it has ceramic properties in it, I'd be happy. As opposed to the snap-on stuff that obviously is a little more expensive. You know, I like to stretch that stuff out. I'm really frugal on, you know, what I use that on and what I sprayed on and things like that. Grab a couple of the Shine Armor bottles, have that for in-between coats, you know. Um, but you guys see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up, get this tape off, finish out the rest of the hood, you know, just so it looks right when I get this thing detailed. You guys wanna know what's going on with the Beamer, make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow the channel. I'll be doing a reveal on this thing probably in the next couple weeks, just waiting on a few more things. Show you guys the last couple of things that I've done. This thing's pretty much done, ready to go. Um, and it's a heck of a car. Moving on to the next one, I'll be picking up that uh, C4 Vet. You guys stay tuned, check that one out. We got some plans for that too. Um, probably after, after the winter though. So as always guys, like, comment, subscribe, check you in the next one. Signing out.